What's up guys, this is Steve for Android at Night and today I'm going to be seeing how long it actually takes for the Google Pixel phone to charge. When Google launched the Pixel, it claimed that 15 minutes of charge would lead to seven hours of use. I'm gonna test this claim separately in another video when I'm gonna try and do 15 minutes, get all that amount of charge, then try to use my phone for over seven hours. But today we are gonna see how long it takes for the Google Pixel phone to charge from zero to 100%. So sit back, relax, and I hope you enjoy. So as you can see here, we have a pretty scientific setup. On the right, we have my Nexus 5, and we're gonna be running a timer. So we are gonna set my Pixel to charge, and this is using the stock charger, the USB-C to USB-C lead. So we're gonna set that going, and we're gonna keep checking back every so often. So we are just about to hit 10 minutes, and you can see we've hit on 13%, and it's saying we've got an hour and 15 minutes left. So we should be looking at about an hour and 25 minutes total charge time, if this is correct. So I actually just missed the 15 minute mark. Um, my grandmother called me, unfortunately, and she takes ages to get off the phone, but still love it a bit, so it's all fine. So we've just gone past the half hour mark, and you can see we're on 52% with about half an hour left. So we're just coming up to the hour mark, and if you look at the graph on the left, you can see it's getting slightly less steep. This is pretty typical with lithium ion batteries. They charge a lot quicker for the first 50%, and the last 50% takes a little bit longer. You can see that the projected charge times of the Pixel is giving are a little bit optimistic. So we've now come up to the 1 hour 15 mark and we are now just shy of 90% with about 9 minutes left according to the Pixel. But as you can see on the graph that curve is getting shallower and shallower. So we're just approaching 1 hour 25 minutes and you can see we are still on 94% and the phone is saying we have 5 minutes left to get this thing to full. So we're now on 99%, we're at 1 hour 45 minutes. So there we are, you can see that has charged from 0 to 100% and it took 1 hour 45 minutes and 30 seconds. So to put this into perspective, I've got a graph here which shows the total charge times of a bunch of current leading smartphones. Now this is giving us the total charge time in hours. Obviously 1 hour 45 converts to 105 minutes, which I think converts to about 1.71. I'm going to check that, give me a minute. So that converts to 1.75 total hours. So you can see this slots in just below the Galaxy Note 5 and just above the HTC 10. So this is pretty impressive. It's charging faster than the HTC 10, better than the Galaxy S7 Edge, the Note 7 of which we will no longer speak, but significantly for the Pixel phone, it's charging quicker than the iPhone 7. Another thing to take into account is this has a 2770 milliamp hour battery, whereas the iPhone 7 only has a battery of about 1990. So actually if you convert milliamp hours to hours taken to charge, the Pixel is doing even better. I haven't been using the Pixel phone for long enough to tell you categorically that the battery life is fantastic. However, what I can say is that comparing it to the other phones I've used recently, notably the Nexus 6P, this thing absolutely smashes it for battery life. I can very easily get a full day of use. The first day that I got the phone, I charged up to 100%. I was obviously setting the phone up, so I was installing a lot of stuff and I was playing with all the different features and I still got over 12 hours of use. I got a full day and that is something I couldn't say about the Nexus 6P. But there you are guys, that is how long it takes the Google Pixel phone to charge. It's pretty impressive. I'm not 100% convinced of this 7 hour and 15 minute claim. Based on this study, it would have got about 24% or just over 20% of charge. Whether or not I can convert that into 7 hours of sort of actual use is something we're going to have to look at in the future but go ahead and subscribe if that is something that would interest you later down the line let me know in the comments below what you think of this test also let me know if there's anything else you want to see about the google pixel this is obviously my daily driver it's the phone i'm using all the time at the moment so if there's any questions i can try and answer them for you please go ahead and like this video if you have enjoyed it you can also follow me on all my social media whatnots with the links in the description Thank you very much for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.